Hi, I'm Chris Ranwell from Protometer. Welcome to this short video on our brand new moisture meter, the MMS3 with Bluetooth. The MMS3 is our third generation of moisture measurement system. Let's have a closer look at some of the features. The first thing you'll see is this large color screen and a D button control pad that allows you to navigate through the menus extremely easily. So on the side of the meter here, you'll notice two ports. One port here for adding accessories such as deep wall probes, baseboard probes, hammer electrodes, and then a second port here, this actually allows you to do more precise surface temperature measurement. We'll talk a lot more about surface temperature measurement later on in the video when we look at a condensation situation. On the back of the meter here, this large area here is where we take our non-invasive or non-penetrating moisture measurement. And then this is your humidity sensor here, which is removable and replaceable, as well as there's different options for that humidity probe, including probes such as our hydrostick sensor for high moisture applications such as concrete flooring. Under the cap here, we can expose our pins. We'll be examining the pin moisture measurement in detail a little later in the video. The fourth function we'll be examining is our non-contact temperature sensor here. This is useful when measuring the surface temperature in a building and calculating out the proximity to dew point or condensation. You'll see that selecting each of the functions is very simple. Just select the function, press the center button, and now we're in that function. You'll also notice that we've changed some of the user interface if you were an MMS2 user. So now we have the large green, yellow and red display warning you of the moisture condition. Here's an example of that display in action with the non-invasive mode of the meter. From the settings menu you can set things like metric or non-metric readings as well as the languages. And this is also here where you can turn on the Bluetooth to connect to the app. We'll talk more about the app in another video. Let's take a more detailed look at the hygrometer function. We'll select hygrometer, and here you'll see the relative humidity on the top part of the display and temperature on the lower part of the display. This can of course be showed in degrees C and in degrees F. Now we'll go to our psychometric functions here. So we go down to psychometrics, and then you can select one of many different psychometric calculations. Let's look at dew point. Here we'll see the dew point on the top, and in fact the relative humidity and temperature on the lower display. Now let's use the MMS3 in a real life situation. This building has brick and plaster construction, but the same sort of techniques could be used in a drywall and stud wall construction. The first thing we want to do is to see if we can quickly establish any potential high moisture areas. And for this, the best mode to use is the non-invasive mode. This can be simply found on the menu, which you can flick through, and just check that the meter's fine by putting your fingers on the back. What we can do is apply it to the wall here, and then quickly scan by lifting and placing the meter in various areas. We'll start high up near the window here, and we are getting elevated readings in the yellow region. As we move down though, you can see that the readings are getting higher. What I would do now is to confirm the presence of moisture using the pin function. The pin function I would always use to record actual moisture readings or wood moisture equivalent readings. To go to the pin function now, we just simply go back in the menu up to pin moisture meter and now we have the pin mode. Again, you can see the green, yellow, and red as we move through the moisture measurement. It's important when you're taking moisture readings on the wall here that you just break the surface, and this applies to both plaster construction or drywall. And you can confirm the presence of the moisture. Now, of course, you can read at greater depth using insulated probes that plug into the side here, and this can give you a moisture profile all the way through the wall, or in drywall construction, you can see whether the insulation in the cavity is wet as well. Now we're going to use the moisture meter to determine whether we have condensation in this building. 
In order to do that, we're going to use the non-contact surface infrared thermometer here. You can remove the rubber cap here. We press it once for the reading and then twice to engage the laser pointer. And now we're directed at the wall. And you can hear the audible change immediately showing that it is indeed condensation and we are at 2.1 degrees below dew point on this particular surface. Often you can't see the presence of moisture. So for instance, on this tiled floor, there's no visual indicators of excessive moisture. But putting to the non-invasive mode, we can actually look for moisture behind this tile. And indeed, we can find excessive moisture here. Now we're gonna look at the MMS-3 in a wood floor situation. You can, of course, use the non-invasive that can quickly assess areas of potential moisture. And then we can also use the pins in the surface of the material just to see whether there's any moisture there. In this case, we can see no excessive moisture is present. However, there may be moisture deep within the wood structure. And for this, we can use an accessory such as a hammer electrode. So plugging in the hammer electrode into the accessory port, we can then measure at various different depths. The pins are insulated so they only measure at the tip. And you would typically drive this into the dark area of the material using the slide function of the hammer. This will help you determine if there's excessive moisture at different depths. Other probes can also be used in the building, such as this probe here that allows you to get under the baseboard or skirting board. Other accessories such as deep wall probes can be used. These are insulated needles, they only measure at the tip. They would require you to drill into the material. The MMS-3 comes in a variety of packages. All these packages can be seen on our website, but they include this thermoform case, as well as hard carry cases that have accessories, such as hammer electrodes and deep wall probes. You can find all these details on our website at protometer.com. Thank you for watching our short video.